Hi, I'm Dave Epstein and welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. I'm here today with Maureen Simonelli and we are at Mount Auburn Cemetery in your state-of-the-art greenhouse. This is pretty cool. This is very cool. This is as cool as it gets, Dave. And I get the inside tour and we're going to share it with you. Let's go. All right, so you have a lot of begonias here on these really cool trays. Yes, we've got 8,000 begonias in this house, actually, Dave. This is called ebb and flood watering. Um, every bench is flooded. The water sits in the trays and then drains out of the bench, goes onto the next bench and does the same thing, repeats all the way through the greenhouse. So I have to tell you, there's not a plant in here that I have to manually water. This entire house from the hanging baskets that are automatically watered with the drip system to the geraniums on the shelf that are automatically watered to every plant on every bench in here. Huge time saver. Yeah, that's gotta save a lot of manual time so you a can lot. be doing a lot of other things in terms of growing and monitoring the plants. Exactly, I really haven't even realized the full benefit yet because these plants, as you can see, they're not really fully grown yet. Right now, manually watering them wouldn't take a huge amount of time, but in another couple of weeks, phenomenal. It would easily take two or three hours to water this entire greenhouse by hand. Now the floor, anything unique about this? The floor is all concrete, so we have no pathogens hiding in weeds or soil, no soil-borne diseases from the ground. Now, what about the roof here? This looks really high tech. I, I kind of wish I had this at my house. Well, the roof, is, it's 16 feet to the gutter, so you've got a huge amount of air circulation in here to begin with. We've got thermal curtains up above that will close, and thermal curtains on the side walls, the end walls as well. So in the winter time, a half an hour before the sun goes down, the blankets come down, keeps all the heat in the greenhouse, and an hour after the sun comes up, everything opens and allows the solar energy in. Now what about the roof opening and closing? The, this roof will open all the way. So it's actually like being outside when you're in here. We've got a weather station outside that will automatically let us know if it's gonna rain or snow. Boom, the vents come down. Yeah, I noticed an anemometer spinning, so it's telling you the wind <laughs> I up figured there. you would. <laughs> I, like the, I like the little weather station, that was pretty cool. Maureen, what's growing in the other greenhouses? Well, why don't we take a walk over and see? Sounds good. So Maureen, a lot more plants in here. It looks like we've got some geraniums going. We do, actually we call this the geranium house. There's 3,000 geraniums in here that we use for, we use for lot plantings for individual grave sites. And on the other side? We... New Guinea patients, sun patients. These will be going down to the administration building, the front gate planting. So Maureen, I noticed that when you leaned on the benches, they actually move a little bit. They do roll. This helps a lot with um, space efficiency, actually. So I couldn't help but notice it looks like you guys have a swimming pool or something <laughs> going on in this greenhouse. I'm assuming this is something really cool. This is very cool. Well, this is our 35,000 gallon cistern that we use to water the greenhouses at this time of year. Um, we gather rainwater from the gutters of the greenhouse. They go down these big, those big pipes actually, into the cistern which lies out underneath the grass there. And that panel lets us know how many gallons are in it and you know, the water level and there's alarms if things go off, go awry. Um, but we use this water to water all the greenhouse crops which is huge in our um, sustainability um, quest. And uh, I think there's one final... There is, and that's actually where we have the vegetables that we were speaking about earlier. Well, let's go look. Check it out. Maureen, I love vegetables. I've planted a lot of my own stuff already this season. I see you got a lot of cold weather crops and a lot of, uh, a lot of greens here. Nice kale. Yeah, a lot of the, the greenhouse staff mostly has, have this... We seclude this little area for our own benefit. We grow, we get a little head start on our broccoli and kale and cabbage and some of the guys grow little flats of lettuce and they come in and snip the lettuce off and it comes again, you know, and come in at lunchtime and get your nice fresh lettuce, your nice fresh salad. 
Well, Maureen, thank you very much. This has been a great tour. I've really appreciated it. Congratulations. Having something like this, I'm sure, makes your life a lot easier. And I know how much you love it here, but this has to even add even more to just working here at Mount Auburn. Absolutely. You're most welcome. Come back anytime. Thank you. I'm Dave Epstein for Growing Wisdom.